to know And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out just let me... How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to the first Man of the Match review from myself on FIFA 14 and it is Manchester City's Samia Nasri and if you do want some coins to buy them lads, visit FUT Coins to go and use that code right there on the screen, M89 to get 5% off. Now Samia Nasri's Man of the Match card, I was going to say in form there, is going for currently 480,000 on the Xbox One, 470 thousand on the PlayStation 4. I actually got lent this card by x Gameplays. Game Players. What a legend he is. But anyways guys, he's got a 4 star skill set and a 4 star weak foot. High to low work rates and just look at some of these stats. 92 ball control. That is sensational. He's got 98 free kick accuracy, 90 finishing and 98 penalties. So he's a bit of a set piece specialist but I didn't manage to get any free kicks in the 8 games I did play with him. So he's got high to low work rates like I did say. That's perfect for any attacking midfielder but he's not an attacking midfielder. He is a right midfielder, right wing, right forward. I just wish this guy was a cam. He has all the ingredients to be one of the best cams on the game, but he's out of position out there on the right. So we kick off this review with a kickoff. Nice little ball roll drag back there, and I've got a chance to shoot. Now, Sami and Najri's long shots are fantastic, and just look at that for a goal, lads. Crack and finish there to bring me level in the game. The curve on it was sensational as the crowd there in the background goes absolutely mental. So he's pros then. Ball control, dribble and finish and long shots which you've already seen there just look at the bend on the replay here in slow motion it swings out it swings back in and it does beat the goalkeeper and he can do this from that right wing position like you see another ball roll drag back gets it with the outside of the boot and kills it in yet again another crack and finish there from Sami and Nasri now his position is a con I'd rather have him in this central spot where he's doing things like this running beyond the defense chipping over goalkeepers for days I want him in the cam spot just behind the strikers blinking up the play and being the perfect attacking midfielder on it. this game you don't want him stuck out there on the right wing getting the ball every now and again and basically being a bit part player in your squad you want him to be the main man the pivotal section of your team especially when you're paying nearly 500,000 coins for a man of the match card and some people do believe that man of the match Nasri shouldn't even exist some people believe that Toure should have been awarded man of the match but let me know your thoughts on that situation in the comment section below do you think Toure deserved man of the match or do you think Nasri did deserve man of the match within the Carlin Cup final you've seen some great goals that was probably the sloppiest of the lot from Sami and Nasri but like I said he has a great shot when it comes to it and that is his final goal there sticking it beyond the goalkeeper cracking finish with again the outside of his boot when you get him out on this right wing you just want to shoot you want to shoot constantly left foot right foot you really don't care as that one clips the top of the bar so we'll go for his pros and just look at them individually ball control sensational you can't get better ball control within a right winger on this game I do believe now because Nasri's ball control is inch perfect in terms of dribbling his balance and agility do help you can skip past players at will and finishing finishing is great yes you're seeing some shots at the moment in time of him missing the target and I mean this does happen it happens with every single player especially when I did play roughly eight games and long shots you've seen that strike at the start what a strike that was and even the second goal was another fantastic finish so Nasri for me he gets a four out of five there wasn't enough there to suggest him getting full marks his strength was pretty bad he was pretty weak and getting pushed off the ball every now and again and his position did let him down I thought he should have been a cam but that will be it lads I hope you have enjoyed this review drop a like if you did i will catch you all next time